2K just dropped an insane amount of news talking about the next gen my player experience, including affiliations returning, mayors, and the whole city in general. I'm gonna break down everything, so stick around because some of the most important information is gonna come at the end. So it all started when 2K tweeted saying, goodbye neighborhood, hello blank. And 2K21 news, who's not associated with 2K, says city, which we all know later turns out to be true. And then following that tweet, NBA 2K21 news tweets out saying, I miss affiliations, don't you guys? which is just teasing that affiliations are gonna come back and that they know something that we didn't at the time. So that brought up the question, are old affiliations returning? And then here at 2K21 News confirms that they aren't. But then follow that tweet with three car emojis and the word Zoom. So people are thinking there's cars or nobody knew what was going on. But that just led to this tweet saying, hearing the city is gonna be huge, like a GTA map size. And from the look of the trailer, that might not be too wrong. So for the final tweet before telling us that there's a trailer coming out at 10 a.m. Eastern time, he tweets out four different colored squares talking about the affiliations. Here you can see the first look at the entrance to Rookieville. This is where you'll play to start off until you can gain a high enough rep to move on and play at the real city. Once you're in the real city, you'll be introduced to four different affiliations. The first one being the Northside Knights. It hasn't been confirmed if there's going to be boosts for each affiliation like there was in the previous years, but if there is, the Northside Knights will have a shooting boost. The second one is the Beasts of the East, a mostly red affiliation that could come with the defensive boost. Then third is the South City Vipers. With green and yellow as its colors, its affiliation can have a boost towards its playmaking. And finally, we have the Western Wildcats, a mostly blue team that could have a boost towards a finishing ability. A borough is what they call each section of the city where the affiliation's courts are. Each one will be different, also each affiliation will have its own warehouse court where apparently new my player progression awaits, so we'll have to see what that means in the future. Once you graduate from Rookieville, you're going to be assigned one of the four affiliations. If you didn't get the affiliation that you wanted, then you can reset your rep back to Pro 1 and pick where you want to play, just like usual. This year, when you play at rival affiliations, you'll gain a lot less rep than playing on your home court, which is different from previous years, but then it says leveling up and strengthening your my player will be very key for what is to come, so maybe you'll gain more badge points and stuff like that when you play at rival parks instead of rep. The Rival Day Conquest the final two weeks of a mayor term will feature a culmination of a series of events to crown which affiliation runs the city. Rival Day Conquest is a key event where all rep earning restrictions are going to be removed from the city and you are encouraged to invade every other borough with all your teammates and take hold of all the courts. Keep a close eye on the leaderboard located in each core area. At the end of the Rival Day Conquest, the four affiliations will be ranked by score and seeded for the culmination of the season, the Rival Day Championship. So the Rival Day Championship will take place at the Event Center and is the final piece of becoming the Rival Day Champions. You'll go head to head with the other affiliations. The winners of the championship will get a VC check and the mayor will be able to deck out your entire borough. The Gatorade training facility is completely different in next gen. This year it's been moved to two floors with the equipment on the first floor and hosts a new feature called Rental Courts, which I'll get into next. Rental Courts are Gatorade courts that you can rent out and play with your friends. This will probably be good for wagers and stuff like that. Players can now carry around a ball. I'm not sure how this works. I don't know if you'll be able to dribble like a game and bust out moves or you're restricted to certain animations that you have to buy from the store. But anyways, there's a new bike and also there's grind spots, I guess. Anyways, there's gonna be new hairstyles, which is sadly huge, like seven years in the making huge. So this year, there's gonna be a lot more stores which is cool thinking about it, but having to travel across the entire city to get a different brand of clothing might be annoying. Places like Nike will have a separate location than Adidas and other brands. Also, Alter Ego and Drip Brothers are two new stores that they added into the city. And if you were curious, yes, masks are in the game, along with slides. So here we get the first look at a possible warehouse court and the special edition Kobe court. Special courts are full-size 4v4 and 5v5 courts that are placed all around the city, and they aren't affiliated with anybody. These are designed for multiple uses and to pay tribute to the Mamba, Kobe Bryant. So here's something we have seen already, which is the Pink Diamond Plaza Court. This one already looks amazing, and this is going to be used for triple threat and stuff like that with my team. Next is the Event Center. This is going to be the giant building that sits in the middle of the map. It looks amazing, and then this is where all the park events are going to be held throughout the year. Here are the park events in action. The animated floors look really good. We get to see the 2K club, which is like Bark After Dark, and we see that Court Conqueror is also gonna be returning. 
The next thing to talk about is the fireball. This isn't anything major, but when your team wins 10 games in a row on affiliation courts, the ball you use in your game will immediately catch on fire and stay lit until you lose. I'm assuming this is the same fireball that has been in my team in previous years. 2K added something new called garage hoops. These are basketball hoops that are scattered around the entire city that you can shoot around on. You can also play other people on these hoops. As a bonus, there's a large VC multiplier that you can get and you can earn it each day playing on these courts for your first five games. Now this is where 2K is taking a huge jump. Another whole new feature added in 2K is people of the city. There are now NPCs that will have a sign on their head. These people will give you one of two types of challenges or quests to complete. Some will have you play offline in the warehouse against all time greats and some will send you off into the city to play games at the park. If you complete all these quests, you'll be rewarded clothes and accessories that aren't sold in stores. I'm not sure if the rewards will stick to just clothing, but we'll see as the year goes on. Also, every four to six weeks, new quests and objectives will be added. So for the final piece of news, 2K has added mayors to the city. This will be the leader of your affiliation. Mayors will have the ability to create videos for the affiliation to see, along with custom playlists, core designs, mural designs, and uniform selection. Mayors will run in six week terms, and yes, mayors are real people. To start off the year, there will be four big names in the 2K community that will start off as mayor. From there, every six weeks, each affiliation will vote on their new mayor. There's a ton of different things 2K can do with this, and this is going to be a great way to keep the audience engaged throughout the entire year. So that's about everything that happened today with the release of the city. I can't wait to play next gen, and this just about seals it. There's tons of new things at once, so I hope everything turns out well. The last time 2K made this big of a change was in 2K18, and we all know how that went. This has an insane amount of potential and truly enough things to keep the community engaged for the entire year. If you made it this far into the video, please like and subscribe. I'm going to be uploading next gen 2K21 content almost daily once the game actually drops, so be on the lookout for that. And I'm out.